Hello guys, uh, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how we can retouch um, images using Adobe Photoshop Fix. Adobe Photoshop Fix is free Adobe mobile application. Also, I will be using iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. First of all, I would like to open image I would like to work with. I will click on plus sign and here I, um, I will choose a uh, image I would like to work with. This is Maggie. This is my model. She's professional ballerina. I worked with her uh, past weekend and now time to retouch her images. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, crop my image to just to make a composition better. Simply. We don't need to crop a lot, just slightly. And now I would like to retouch a uh, um, uh, ballerina skin. She is absolutely beautiful, but um, as any of us, um, something needs to be retouched. So I'm switching to a, he a healing um, workspace, and I will use spot a heal brush tool. Uh, here I have um ability to control hardness and size of my brush. Let me zoom in my image and I will bring a size of my brush up just slightly. Hardness um, about 91 and simply click and paint out uh, some uh, pixels uh, out of uh, your image. And here part of her hair. How perfect is it? It's quick, it's easy, and it's perfect. Uh, some people are um, scared um, retouch their images using uh, Adobe mobile apps. They think it's too complicated. Absolutely not. It's easy, it's fast, it's a very professional result, and it's mobile. You can start working on your uh, project from anywhere. Here, just like that. And also here. This session was one of my favorite. It was very elegant, it's very professional. just like that because she is ballerina and she has a lot of bruises just because of her job so let's remove those bruises as well just like that very quick also let's fix her shoe I will bring um, size of my brush down and simply paint out uh, pixels I'm simply painting out pixels out of her leg and painting out pixels I'm fixing her shoe. It's simple. Just like that. Uh, now I will switch to clone stamp tool. Uh, again here I have um, options to control hardness and size of my brush. I will bring size down. I will sample a part of her shoe and I will paint over another part of her shoe. I will bring my size up, I will sample another part of her shoe and I will paint. Sample and paint. Sample and paint. Just like that. Sample and paint. Also here. Just like that. Now I will switch back to my spot heel brush tool and I will paint out more of pixels just like that. It's perfect, it's quick again. I'm repeating myself, but I love retouching my images using um, Adobe Photoshop Fix. Every time, absolutely great result. Also, I would like to paint out this part of her um, shoe, just like that. 
we don't need those pixels. Also, I can switch to clone stamp tool. I will sample this part and I will paint out just like that. Now let me zoom. Oh, I'm sorry, I made mistake. So simply click on undo button. And now I will zoom out and we will see our results so far. I like it. Uh, definitely now time to retouch her hair. Uh, we have uh, many different ways to retouch her hair. We can retouch her hair using spot heel brush tool or clone stamp. Uh, I will use clone stamp and I will um, bring up size of my clone stamp and also increase hardness of my clone stamp. Sample um, this part of um, our image next to her hair and simply paint out some of her hair just like that. Sample and paint, sample and paint. Clone stamp tool in Adobe Photoshop fix absolutely identical to uh, clone stamp in Adobe Photoshop. Just like that. To make um, look um, uh, to make um, edges of her hair uh, look more natural, I will bring down hardness of my brush. I will clone sample uh, par uh, part of uh, our background and I will paint her hair just like that. Let me zoom out. Also, I would like to remove those hairs. So uh, sample um, background next to her um, hair and simply paint out just like that. Also, as you can see, we have uh, some um, hair sticking out. Uh, I would like to retouch it. So I'm switching to my spot healing brush tool, hardness down, size down, and simply paint over her hair. Just like that. Perfect, perfect result. Let me zoom out. What else we can do now? Uh, I'm happy with um, all uh, retouching. I will click OK. And now I will switch to adjust workspace. Here I can um, uh, adjust exposure. Let's see. I will bring exposure up. Contrast. Let's see. I love contrast. Just like that. Saturation. Probably I will bring, bring saturation down just slightly. Shadows. I will bring shadows up. And highlights. Let's see. I will bring highlights up. Click OK. And um, to smooth up her um, skin, I will switch to smooth workspace. I will zoom in my image and here I have all necessary tools to uh, control my smooth tool. I have opacity, hardness and size. First of all, I will bring down size of my brush. I will bring down hardness of my side brush and opacity of my brush. And I will paint on top of a uh, part of my image I would like to uh, smooth up. So I would like to smooth a uh, part of her uh, skin face. Just like that. I will bring uh, my uh, um, brush size up just slightly. Just like that. Uh, using um, a smooth brush, we can control um, what part of um, our image uh, we would like to smooth up uh, what part of our image we don't want to touch. So it uh, depends on your preferences and you have full control over your image and I love it a lot. So I will bring size of my brush up again and I will paint over her shoulder. 
just like that. I'm not painting over her um, wardrobe or over um, her flower. I'm just making her um, skin looks more silky. Just think about um, you need to be very careful because you don't want to make her skin look uh, looks um, like plastic. Always remember to make your image look as natural as it's possible. You have all necessary um, tools um, to do a great job. Just like that. And legs. If you would like to have more silky effect um, with your skin, just bring up uh, opacity and hardness of uh, your brush. Just like that. Now I would like to apply a sharpness to her um, skirt. I will switch to sharpen tool. And here again, I have all necessary tool um, to control my sharpen tool. I will bring opacity just slightly down and hardness down, size of my brush up. And I will paint over her skirt. Just like that. To make um, her skirt uh, pop up just slightly again we don't need to do anything extreme in here because it's a ballerina it's supposed to be very elegant just like that also uh, her rose same um, I'm using a sharpen tool and probably over her um, eyelashes I need to bring uh, down size of my brush and just like that click ok and what I would like to do right now I would like to um, highlight a part of her skin so I'm switching to light workspace I will zoom in my image and I will choose a lighten brush um, I, I have again I have all necessary um, tools to control my lighting brush. I will bring opacity slightly up about 69, hardness down about 17 and size of my brush down about probably 11. And I will apply kind of accent, light accent over her um, image. Just to make my image more interesting. I will bring down hardness and opacity of my brush just like that. Here, maybe over her cheek, over her um, wardrobe, just like that. Slightly over uh, her rose. And now I will switch to a darkened brush. Uh, I will bring opacity of my brush down, hardness down, and size of my brush down. And I will paint over um, some part of her rose just to make extra accent just like that and again I will bring hardness down opacity down and I will uh, apply few uh, strokes over her um, hair and her eyes just slightly just like that click OK and guys, our image is ready. Now um, I can um, send my image to um, Photoshop, uh, save to Lightroom, save to CC library, uh, post on Instagram, Facebook, or publish uh, my project on Behance. I love Behance, um, but I will save my project to Camera Raw for, for now. Complete. Thank you, guys. And I will see you later. Bye.